And it only shows up once in every What well, every blue moon? moon. Uh, over yeah. over Castle Transylvania. I got a feeling if the higher ups the two. That's one. I see. Only there to left super, which one could have that as a motion. Come here, come here, guy. Come here, Kyle! I should have seen, though. I should have seen. Like, oh, you're full screen fireball. Oh my god, look at my nigga. Oh, are we in there? How are we doing, folks? Week 68 of the Wall Raven Weekly. We got Antoine Ortiz, better known for his Hugo play. Promising to go all bison all week. The dictator. As as he has dubbed, let the dictator dictate. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be. Oh my God, that was it. Yeah. 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 Let him finish that game. Ask the commentator. Thumped. You hear him? Yep. I, I see. It's crispy. So. So for those who don't know, who may, I gotta get rid of these chips. They're too yummy. Back on Alright, so for those who don't know or who may be turning in or tuning in, excuse me, for the first time, this is the Wall Raven Weekly at Mitten Masher Mondays. This is hosted at Plum Hollow Lanes in Southfield, Michigan, corner of Nine Mile and Lasser. We usually start our tournaments at 9 o'clock. The event starts at 6 p.m. Casuals are, are completely free. Our tournaments are $2. So if you want to check the archives, you I believe it's twitch.tv slash Jason Wallraven. And the YouTube is the Wallraven Weekly. You can just search for it. And it'll, it'll come up. So what you're seeing oh, right now. I oh, know, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who are not aware, until one of his characters is indeed confirmed. There we go. So, for those who don't know, he said until one of his characters is confirmed, this is who he will be playing in five. Alucard has stated he he will be maining Bison now. He do, he does have a pocket Bison as you're seeing here. He's played him for for a while, but it only comes out once in a very very rare occasion. And woo, save the pieces. But has said that he will be playing Bison exclusively and explicitly tonight. So. Uh, wipe your feet off. Ouch. Yes. Do not test this man's reactions. Some of the best in the business, as we saw a combo breaker. <laughs> you can clearly hear that too with the mic here. I like this. We should get like a little stand and just set that there. Well, there's been a bunch of couple. There's been a couple of weeks, like before I started actually having commentating actually set a microphone like above mm -hmm. you got everything mm -hmm. but uh not take two <laughs> i do want to i can set up a uh i don't have it here but um i got some studio quality condenser microphones there i mean it can pick up everything that i can Ooh. that i can set back there and then like from over here turn on you know up and off. oh okay so you can kind of adjust that's nice yeah. yeah that might be worth looking into is it because sometimes it is really interesting to hear maybe what the players have to say to each other or in this case hearing especially in the sets like this where there it's just a casual set mm -hmm. but there's a lot of learning going on yep. there's a lot of hey how, how come this didn't work you know? mm -hmm. exactly so, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be right or not. Um, if I'm predicting that uh, Street Fighter Five is going to flop financially, sales wise, it'll probably be a great game, fun game, and something that that we that are really interested in this in um, is going to be, you know, a lot of fun. But it may may flop financially, so it may be the last Street Fighter game for quite a while. Mm. 
Uh, I, I think I think it's really going to depend on what they do with the the system itself. Because obviously, it, it, it's, it's kind of what every um, development company and development team and even the marketing team faces it's an issue you know they a lot of people say if you're in the competitive community it's like what about us well you're only a fraction of the copies of the game that they're going to sell you know they're, they're catering to the casual people so i think that's really why they're they're the one thing i like they're doing with like the v trigger and, and some of the the other um systems that they're implementing they're very very simple inputs so the casual player is going to be able to pick it up and be able to do that cool looking combo that they're seeing other people do so they're trying to make it more accessible without making it you know too easy and leaving some depth for for the players and it's hard to find that balance you know it, it really is we, i mean this is this is the way i look at it when it comes to stuff like that because you have um uh, you know any other sport on the beginning levels, it, it is really easy. It isn't hard to learn how to move a chess piece. Mm -hmm. It isn't hard to shoot a basketball. Mm -hmm. It isn't hard to swing a bat. Yeah. It's very easy to learn, but difficult yep. to master. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and it's that higher level interaction that makes it awesome. Yep, I agree. And with a game like Street Fighter Four, this is all really simple. There is, you have a health meter, you have a super meter, you have the revenge meter, the ultra meter. Mm -hmm. The super meter for every single character um, is four bars. If you fill up all four bars, you get to do something super cool. Mm -hmm. If you get, you know, blah, blah, blah. You, we, yeah. you know the system. Yeah. And then you have the focus attack system, which is just a super easy to learn in the beginning, super easy to use in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it's versatile. You can use it for defense. You can use it for attack. When you get a little more advanced, you can use it to um, make new combos or extend other combos. Mm -hmm. And it's super yep. easy to understand. I think yeah. with 5, they're going back to kind of how 3 was, where you had different meter links, different mm -hmm. this, that. Yep. Um, you're not sure what's what. And then then you then you have replacing the focus attack, you have the V skill, mm -hmm. which is a meterless uh, thing. Which is interesting that it's, it's character specific. Each yeah. character has one. That That's so cool to me. So, but then, uh, and again though, I think it's going to anger more people because, you know, if you're a fan of parrying, but only Ryu has the parry, mm -hmm. you're going to piss because you want to parry, and yeah. then... But you gotta either play Ryu or you know do something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely like. Uh, I watched the documentary I Got Next. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. I believe it's uh, uploaded on YouTube in parts. I think you can buy the DVD. But uh, it's a documentary back from uh, 2009, and Gutex actually did a phenomenal way of explaining. Just, just what, what exactly you know, Street Fighter is to a, a casual player. He, he was like, fighting game. He says, is literally, you know, you both have your health bars. Like, it's at the it's lowest level, it's just you beating, wanting to beat up the other guy. Yeah. You know, and, and it was just like the way him and Mike Ross just like they they sold it. You know, to somebody like us, it's humorous because you're hearing it broke down in such yeah. like easy terms. And Mike Ross is like, you know, at beginning level, it's like checkers. You just kind of hold, you just go forward until somebody wins, you know. Yeah. And that's kind of how it is. You just swing. He's like, exactly. but at, he's like, at an advanced level, it's like chess. He's like, you know, if I have my characters, like, you know, I have this piece or this move that works in, in this area, in this space. He's like, and, and, you know, it becomes a much more complex game. And then just that analogy, you know, it's just, yeah. it, just, it just opens it up. And, and with, it, with the simplicity, now, if you look, you know, from vanilla Street Fighter 4 all the way up to Ultra uh, Street Fighter 4, mm -hmm. in every iteration, the game got a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complicated. Yep. And um, overall sales, if you look at the sales of vanilla Street Fighter compared to Ultra Street Fighter mm -hmm. 4, um, vanilla sold way more than Ultra. Yeah. Now, as, as, a, as a competitive player, you, we want the more complicated yeah. systems, so we buy it. So we're the niche. Yeah. But if you go and grab yourself a, con a vanilla copy of Street Fighter 4, put it in your Xbox 360, and go online, there's still people playing. Vanilla, yeah, yeah. There's still people playing. And they're not, you know, they're not the hardcore players, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah, and 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 something too that that definitely. Ooh, wow, I forgot that word. But um, something that also played into vanilla, I think that 
it, it was kind of the the resurgence of just yeah. fighting games. You know, without what well, people can say they want, without Vanilla, we wouldn't have had Marvel Three. You know, we wouldn't have had you know a, a new Killer Instinct. You know, all the fighting games that we have now kind of are because of Vanilla Street Fighter Four. Because you know, fighting games were dying out. All there really was, you know, I think it was Tekken Five, Dark Resurrection. You know, what was was in the that was I think Tekken at the time. Yeah. And you know, there was Third Strike, there was CVS Two, there was Super Turbo. It was all the really old school games that had been out for years and years and years. You know, so we wanted something new. And when Four was finally announced, I love the way Capcom did it because they had a, a, a timer on, on their website, and they it was you know when the, the timer hit zero, there's going to be a, a, a video. And one of the famous trolls on the internet was like, that, that'll happen when Duke Nukem Forever comes out. Because I was, you know, in development hell for all of eternity until it finally <laughs> came out and it was shit because, you know, they didn't they didn't do it right. And so one of the, the jokes for the fighting community was that'll happen when Street Fighter 4 comes out. And I remember being there when the, the timer hit zero and there was a video that was loaded and it was the announcement trailer. And that, that was it. The internet blew the hell up because oh, wow. because you know because they're like dude like it's here like we're getting a new street fighter like are you are you kidding me right now so like when i found that out you know even though i was only like you know 15 16 at the time i didn't care i'm like dude i can do street fighter i can play online <laughs> with other people because you know, i just have myself my brothers in the computer i didn't the yeah, idea exactly. of playing against another like you know a human opponent that could be you know on the other side of the country that was that was crazy so Street Fighter 4 really just kind of brought all that back and really brought in a new age players, hence the term, you know, 0-9ers, etc. Yeah. Well, you know, and I had, I, and the, I totally quit uh, Street Fighter, so I actually didn't come back into the scene mm-hmm. um, until uh, Super Street Fighter 4 came out. Mm-hmm. That's, that was the first copy that I got. Um, but, you know, go back, go back to how vanilla was, vanilla was simpler and... Um, we got more complex games, mm-hmm. but it was the initial sales, the over a million copies of yep. Vanilla, that funded everything. Yep. That made it where the more complex games, not only did we get better games, but they were cheaper. You you know, yeah. when I when I came in to, and got oh, I got Super, I got it for, uh, you know, $40. Yep. When, if you were late in the game and you came in when Ultra came out, you probably only paid 15, 20, 20 bucks. Yeah, 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 you know. So it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't an expensive investment. Like, oh, I got buy the sixty dollar game and then potentially a hundred, hundred fifty dollar joystick. If I want to get that, it was just not. Like you can buy the game yep. 20, 30, 40 bucks, and you're you're good to go. That's all you need. And where the casual player didn't buy any of them because they're like, well, I'm not going to spend you know forty bucks for an update. That's how they looked at it. Like, yeah. I got Street Fighter. I'll play this game. Yeah. I remember my ex-wife's uh, brother. I was all excited about when Ultra Ultimate uh, uh, Ultimate uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, and he mm-hmm. looked at me and he's like, "Why are you buying that? It's only like you know, it was it like four new characters or yeah. ten new characters?" Something like that. It's yeah. like, "Is it really that different from the previous game?" You know, that's how the casual person thinks. Yeah. Whereas now with Street Fighter 5 coming out, instead of starting fresh and you know beginning as an easy game, mm-hmm. it's almost the update to you know. Ultra Street Fighter 4, it's starting mm-hmm. out too advanced. Yeah. I, I guess that's where... where yeah, I, and, and definitely you could see, too, uh, a lot of things that were uh, present in Omega mode were, were seeing in yeah. 5. And so, I, I mean, we, to be frank, a lot of us here kind of called that when Omega was announced. We're like, this is not, not going to be meant to take it seriously because it's free. Yeah. We're like, they're literally just beta testing for 5. And sure enough, you know, Ryu has a parry. You know, so they're oh, probably he yeah, he remember, thing. yeah. I think I, I think it's uh, down or forward and uh, heavy punch and heavy kick. So you know he's got a parry in that, and then once we kind of look and you see some of the things that they're doing there, like yeah, they're they're beta testing for five, and especially since it's rumor that like Yurian is supposed to be in there, they basically turned Seth into Yurian. He had cherry attack, all his EX sign up boom was like Aegis reflector or something. Like that. They're, they're they're testing, they're testing. Meanwhile. You say wipe your feet off. So meanwhile, <laughs> this is something. Part of the reasons I love watching Alucard play, just because when he gets a character that he enjoys like this, he every little thing he does, he just he feels, you know, and he loves it. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna lie, Japanese bison is is one of the greatest things ever in the game. Like I, I used to hate. Wow. Ouch. Don't test his reactions. I, 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 don't, I don't know why people haven't learned this yet. 
every time he's done when he's at ultra, he's gotten the ultra. Every time. As Spriggan learned so painfully, a combo breaker. <laughs> you don't test Hugo's reactions. Yes. The, the one that got bodied twice, yes. Oh, let me try to jump back fireball. Hugo said ultra two. What the snipe? <laughs> and then he got sad out of that he died. But and it was funny if you listen to the commentary for that that match uh, where Twan Paul Sprig and the Akuma, a combo breaker. Um, Ultra David, the first time he had Ultra Two, but uh, he wasn't in range to get caught. The first time, as soon as he saw Twan had Ultra Two, he's like, "You cannot throw an air fireball. He will grab you through it." And as soon as he did, he's like, "No, what do you?" You see Twan slam the, slam the button, and Ultra David's like, why'd you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> and like, we just all look, and we're like, don't leave the ground, and he died. <laughs> but meanwhile, so Alucard playing some casuals with White Beast, the Resident Rose player, Rose Specialist now. So trying try, try, so try to get his bison a little bit more crispy. Sorry, go ahead. So much better. Yeah, Rose is so much of a better fit for him than uh, uh, than the new Cammy. Yeah, I agree. Um, I really think that he has the ability to rush down, but I think just Rose fits his style a little bit more. She can just kind of control what the opponent does, or let me rephrase that: control what the opponent is able to do. And you can really kind of just put people in places where you want them. You just frustrate your opponent, and I think he really excels at that. You know, it's like I think Cammy was a nice pick, but she was pretty much it's pretty much go hard or go home. You know, you pretty much wanted to go in with her, or you're kind of not playing her right. So, and I like you said, I think Rose is definitely a much better pick for Alex, and he's definitely seen a lot more success since he switched over full time. Oh yeah, I know he, he dicked with uh, DiCaprio for a bit, but it's just not a good charge. Yeah, I think I think player. I think a lot of people expected DiCaprio to play like Cammy. Uh -huh. And that is definitely not the case. If you play DiCapre and Cami, even just for a few minutes, you can see that while a lot of the normals and everything are the same, they're, the way you go about their game plan is completely different. And the one thing I love about DiCapre is that you could get, you know, say you got, you know, some really solid players, right? And you sit all, like, three of them down and tell them to play DiCapre. There's a good chance all three of them will play, play her differently, depending on what they can do. Like, for example, I'm really good at pianoing. So when I was messing with the Capri, I based all my pressure from the low forward into light hands. You know, similar to Honda. Like, granted, it's not plus like Honda is. It's minus three. But That's still hard to punish, yeah, though. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, if I space it out, you can't punish it. There's very, very few things in the game that can punish it. So I based my pressure on a lot of the hands. I know doing hands. Mad King likes to try to get the knockdown with break, you know, the, the ground pound, and then go yeah. for the scramble mix-up. And then... Well, uh, Messi LPRD is very, very putsy based, you know, so all three of us that kind of messed with her, we all three played her drastically differently, you know, and I think that's part of the reason we haven't really seen too much of a DiCaprio really blow up. I mean, Infiltration's playing her, but even then, there's still some times where, like, he's missing important elements of her game. I'm like, I think once, even though we're kind of, like, at the end of the life cycle for four, I think this year, if, if we can see a, like, a, a complete DiCaprio, that she she could be a threat. We can see her take a major because you know she just has so many options. Now, do you see any chance? Because there was um, I wouldn't say like around here there wasn't a huge th third strike community anymore. Mm -hmm. But you still got like a pretty big Street Fighter Two play you know player base in mm -hmm. the United States. Yeah. I guess what Japan's they play a lot of three. They 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 play a lot of three and they still play crap ton of two. I, I'm subscribed to a few different YouTube channels uh -huh. where I literally get weekly video updates of like several hours of footage. Of them playing third strike and super turbo they still play it as much as they play four over there i'm wondering you know i'm wondering if, if uh four is gonna have you know any legacy oh like people still playing it yeah um i think in the arcades definitely there, there there's a good chance because i know they're saying five is actually wait yeah five's only ps4 and pc isn't it i'm not sure i'm not sure if that's going to arcade or not that's interesting I that, wonder if well, well, that's a good question because if it's console only, then yeah, uh, there, there's a, a lot of the players over there, you know, that don't have the console are gonna have to pick one up. So, but I think that what's gonna make that interesting is that. So here, here's here's what's been a problem in the four series for a long time. 
with the exception of Super, because Super was. I'll get to him in a second. Hang on, Chris. <laughs> but uh, I'll go ahead and answer him. Okay. Hang on. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna get back to that. So that's interesting. Okay, I can think about that. All right. Uh, we'll get back. We'll get that guy in. Right okay. But uh, Mad King and uh, JWE, that guy. All right. So, but Super, so Super Street Fighter 4 was a console-only release. Uh, right. Vanilla and all the other versions were in the arcades. Now, Japan got all the other versions be- a little bit before we did. Yeah, so they were, they were always a little bit they better. Always a little bit ahead. However, this time with five, if it's truly PC and PS4 only, we're all starting off on the same footing. We're all starting off at the same level, you know, with with, with the same everything. So I think it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who who can really find the tech first, who who can find the the broken stuff. You know, and, that, and oh, that also brings up another point: the fact that it's uh, if you saw that, but it's crossplay between PC and uh. PS, uh, PS4, which is I'm so happy that they're doing that. That's so nice. Cause I, I hate the fact that like certain communities, or, you know, a certain console and platform is alienated from the others. Yeah. Like, oh, I wish I could play you, but I don't play on PC. And I'm playing words here talking about Alien. Um, mm-hmm. Alienware has that Alpha Box. Mm-hmm. The Alpha Box out of the box works with uh, uses Xbox 360 controllers. Oh, so okay. if you know if you're if you're an Xbox One fan and you don't want to buy the PS4, mm-hmm. maybe you want to get that uh, get that out uh, Alienware box because you're going to be able to use your Xbox 360 stick you already got, mm-hmm. play that game, you know, and mm-hmm. you got a lot of other stuff that's Steam based too. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, yeah. um, uh, Skullgirls. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there, there's actually a, a Steam has a, has a pretty big following. There's also a lot of uh, I think there's. I'm trying to think, yeah, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, yeah, every, everything, all the, the main games are pretty much on Steam. Yeah. And Twan is just consistently looking over at us every time he pulls out something sick. <laughs> he, lo- he loves his character so much. He loves playing Bison so much. You know, this is a weird night here tonight. There's a lot of people here, mm-hmm. and there's no consoles here. Yeah. There's like the two that I brought, and then there is two Smash, uh, uh, two we use here. Yeah. Exactly, and honestly, there's not a lot of Marvel players here, I don't think, so there might not really be much for Marvel. Honestly, if I meet... Oh, damn, it's already 9 o'clock, so yeah. Looks like we might just be running Street Fighter tonight, probably. Might do might do a Marvel, too, Marvel as well, because I think Oh, there's... yeah, because Marvel players usually show up a little bit later, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We, we had one night where we actually finished the Street Fighter tournament completely, then started the Marvel tournament. Oh, okay. There's only, like, four people that night. But... Yeah. Oh my god, that's it all. And the chip is so real. Which very good set. I think Kobo was asking to put Marvel on that other station, but the yeah. new is Oh, yeah. did you see what I did with the face plates on the two Xboxes? Yes, it is. Oh, I see what you did there. It did. Oh I noticed you switched it. That's yep. good. <laughs> yeah, that's kinda of cool actually. <laughs> kinda of neat neat little color scheme. The yin yang boxes. <laughs> You know, you know that that match would be easier, John, if your hair was white. You had you you up the ground. Then he'd match the box. Yep, he'd match the box. The box, yes. Are you ready? Damn, he said that. He said mirror match. I was like, what? Ah. So, John. Soul. like the soul mirror match. That's almost like that match would be easier if you had white hair. <laughs> oh, he go. He got the cape. Oh, yeah. hype! I got when I, I was like, he got a cape. I want to play him just for that. I'm dead serious. Just because he has a cape. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, now nah, it's rumor. Remember that poison humor. Come back. <laughs> yes, you're about Nike to get all chin. of them. All Nike right. to the chin. Nike to the chin. Wow, he's that fuck. Scissors at the gate. <laughs> yeah, why not? Fuck. What's he gonna do? Punish? Keep. Oh my god. 
Yo, that was great. Why well, should we know that piece player it, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, because it, it hits him in the head. Then yeah, that probably beats Lariat. <laughs> now this is actually supposed to be pretty bad for Bison, isn't it? Or no? I... Bam! Bam! Oh, you gotta convert off of that, baby. You gotta do at least two shorts to convert. Huh? Well, who's who's that playing one? I, I know he's been here before. Oh, that's um. Oh, I know it. Um, free Black Joker, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Free Black Joker. Oh, yeah. So, fun fact. I played him before Combo Breaker online on my alternate account, and I don't think he knew it was me. That was fun. I picked on it. Break that face! <laughs> Break that face! <laughs> uh, he bought, he bought the throw. He's like, Ugh. you know, I I played him a tournament here once, and uh, I was playing uh, what character? Oh, I was playing, I was playing Jury. It was before I switched to Chung Lee, mm -hmm. and um, he was he was having a lot of trouble with Jury as a far hard kick because mm. it's got a long reach. Yeah, that's really good. Just kind of keep him out. Yep. And it can be beat. You know, I mean, you can fo if you can focus and dash forward and beat the crap out of him for it. But he he never had an answer for it. I think he still beat me tournament wise, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Oh, he said I'm out. Nice man. Oh no. Oh, he better die. Oh. Ex went right through him. Well, he didn't. Uh, he didn't auto correct your turn around in time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. In, in order to punish. Pun in order to punish a uh, block cycle crusher, you have to actually delay your input a little bit to give yourself time to auto crack. The, the, even if you play a charge character, like you have to do the motion and delay the button press just a second. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. It's Here, weird. wait. Say that in the mic. I want. I want. I want to get that on the on the mic. Say that again. I I tried to punish that with meat stock before, and it auto corrected me into the corner. But he was on the other side of me. Like I was, I'm gonna wait till he's on the other side. Just do it. And it auto oh baby. It's oh jeez. Really yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, like I said, like even with like, like for like Balrog, for example, if you block it. You do the ultra motion, but you delay the button press a second, and then he turns around and does ultra. So it, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. That's hard. Not, Twan do the easier option. I, mean, I, I, I love him to death, but come on now. This this is the guy that does jab ultra in tournament. After four ex uppers for no damage, just to demoralize. <laughs> He did that to me once, and I wanted to hit him with my stick. I wanted to bust him in the face of RK stick. He just did an uh, EX upper loop with Balrog. You see jab, 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 ultra. And the ultra did, like, pixels of damage. Oh, my God, get thrown. Yep. Oh, he's trying to go for the freaky. Oh, <laughs> All right, so he about he about to do some some real bullshit charge tricks with Bison. So if you if you do like a forward throw, <laughs> you do a, a forward throw and you do Devil's Reverse, not the head stomp. You can hold the charge and just before it hits the ground, if you input scissor kick inside that auto correct scissors. It's fucked up, but it's fucking hilarious. I seen. Uh, I think it was. Who was it? Who was it, Evo? Dogura. That's who found him. Dogura. He's a Guilty Gear player. He played Bison. He did Mike Ross. And it's really good against uh, somebody like Honda because it, it messes with my uh, my auto crack headbutt charge. Oh my god, gets thrown out of it. That's nuts. Wow. Oh, that was he won Ultra, I think. Nice little punch. <laughs> Oh, that's 250. Jeez, that hurts. Oh, that was it. That was it. He he, he had it too. Wipe your feet off. Oh, block the poodle schnoggin. 
gotta watch the poodle schnaggin. The poodle schnaggin. There is no. The po he didn't watch the poodle schnaggin. Yes. He did, he did, he has a, uh-uh. What? I think, I think, I think it is Tyler. That's for, uh, 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 that's I think the headquarters was in Thailand. What's he got? Oh my god, that's great. Alright, what's he got? Just want you try to hold up. Oh, he could have killed him for that. Oh, come on. No, too early. Still airborne, baby. Nope. Watch the poodle schnoggin. The poodle schnoggin, ladies and gentlemen. He got, he, the, the dude, Alucard is so sad. He was so sad right there. He frowned. Uh, he, he just wanted a hug. That's all he wanted. He said, just give, just give a brother a hug. Oh my god, get thumped. Huh? That's one frame. Yep, can't do that. I think in order to anti that, you have to do Crouching Lariat. Uh -huh. That's that's still... The hitbox on Jump Pierce is really good. And the head is where... Oh, uh, 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 uh. God damn! Best beep song. Best beep shout out, shout out to the Ultra Buffs. All of it. That's all one frame. And the stand short is unplinkable. Yeah, execution. So, oh, sticking to one frames. What do you think they mean by uh, oh! that one frames are still gonna exist in five, but they're gonna be easier to do? How do you how do you make a one frame easier to do? I, I don't understand how. I, I really don't. <laughs> it's like if one frame link is still gonna be hard. If your game is running 60 frames a second, one frame link is gonna be hard. So unless there's some type of built-in execution something to help you do it. I don't understand how they would make it easier. Honestly. Yeah. Watch them slip. Watch them slip the uh, the uh, cross check and chain combos in. That's one thing I really I really liked about cross checking was you had like you had the chain combos and the link combos. Yeah, you had them both. If you did the chain combos. It was easier, you just got less damage out of it. Yeah, it was less damage and a lot more scaling. So it kind of, you know, you, you could play and you could win by doing chain combos, yeah. but it really rewarded taking the time to learn the hard links and then the proper punishes. Oh my yeah. god, that hard. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That's a 15 hit combo with Bison, four bars. 200 damage. Did nothing whatsoever, I guess. <laughs> he took it to the chest and, oh, that was cute. So, oh. Oh, right for it. Could he could he have blown up that 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 uh, check attempt with, by doing the uh, command grab instead of trying the normal grab when he jumped in? No. Um, uh, command, to my knowledge, unless it specifically says so, there's a couple that have it, but most uh, command throws or command grabs are not thrown invincible. That's how they uh, balance them. Oh, okay. Us usually, I, I, I believe is a uh, normal SPD. Like I know, like Honda's uh, EX man grab is throw invincible, but oh, see now, I, I really think he should be representing that to kind of give some some commentary and insight on the matchup. I would like to. Oh, nice thump. See, Crouching Larry is going to make a trade, and then he gets the green hand follow up, and he actually gets a mix up off of that. But I would like to see him represent standing strong a little bit more. No, nope, nope. Yep, oh, there he learned, he learned. See, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Because if you do it too early, Bison's still airborne. So you can't grab him. Uh, dash up Roundhouse. Twan is like, what are you doing? What are you doing against Neutral Justice's character? I'm like, dash up Roundhouse. So that dash is good as fuck. Shout out to Free Black Joker for catching that, uh, um. Yeah. And like, and like, I'm happy to see that that he he adjusted to that, you yeah. know, because he was like, okay, I did a little, a little too early. Oh, and he burns all the meter. That sucks. Oh, he's got a, he's got the corner now. That's yeah, but see, I'll say he's, he 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 wanted out. He should have just backed up. Just is taking some steps back. 
Oh, he, he, he's getting a little too greedy for the command grabs, and Chuan is just gonna style right now. Yep. Yep, that's safe. Can't do anything with that. Yep. With punish. Block the poodle schnoggin. Gets the combo off of that. Oh. Hey, he's flipping dancing and shit. This fucking soul train out here with Antoine. Let's just kind of. Do, 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 do. Shut up, the white beast with the assist. Slay, 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 the cameraman. Let's Oh, you can't see this on camera, but White Beast is holding the microphone like right next to Juan's face. This is godlike right now. Oh my god, he could have scooped him. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I want it. Oh. That was cold. That, 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 that was, was so cold. godlike. That, that was, was so cold. godlike. Can we can we can we, can we so just cold. get like a little stand next to him when he plays? That is amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he has the mic right by you. Like. <laughs> 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 we, we, we got our camera. He's like leaning in. Oh my god, man. That was godlike. No, I, I, I like this idea of the mic there though. Just just like the little the little exchanges. Um. Mike! I'm out! I'm out! Hey Mike! Where's where, where, where the big Mike? Where's the big body Mike? Oh damn, he don't use stick. We got a pad player. Shout out to Bucci, by the way. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, Happy birthday, bro. oh, he got the motherfucking Crown Royal. Yeah, the boy. So, Pro Jose Bucci, you can make a trend on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by hashtag PHAB. You know what I'm saying? For the birthday. The birthday boy. That is, a, that is, that is too good. That's why I love our community. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to take a break to make some uh, announcements on brackets. Okay. Let me... Alright, fellas, we're going to sign up for Street Fighter and Marvel. Um, come see Ash, what is going to do the brackets? MK's dead. This is it, bro. This is Keeping me out. I couldn't, I couldn't fucking get in. I'm like, no. Red focus. Red focus, yes. It is, yeah. How is this one? From your perspective, from big boy perspective. Big boy, I can be. Okay, okay. Gotta play faces. Just like me. There. There. Gotta get nasty. They gotta get nasty, as they hear. Look at that dude. Oh my god, yes. Well, he about to, he's about to do it again. He's about to do it again. So, if you heard Chuan. Damn! You heard me said, you think this is a little bit hard for Bison because he doesn't do a lot of damage. Hugo can take all the damage and dishes all of it out. Nope, that's safe. Can't do that. You better backbreaker this boy when he leaves the ground. Come here, you. He said, Oh my god, all 12 inches of. All the 12 inches of cock. Oh, look at him. He's swimming. Look how happy he is. He smiles. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. I accomplished that. Andre! If he gets get the clap combo, I'm counting it in German. I swear to God, I'm gonna do it. Try. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh! Let me get the. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, can't SPD that. That's safe. Easy. <laughs> Not 
Duck. What do you want to do? He's like, that, that, is, that, that, that is not the correct stun combo. I respect it. He said, that is not the correct combo. There's no, there, we're, we're probably not running okay tonight unless somebody brings the setup. There's literally no setup. All right. Yep. MK is dead. Uh, uh, uh. The crispy one frame moves. Oh, he wanted it. He messed it up, though. Uh. Toss it. Is that, is that not working on him? Because he's so big? That might not. Okay. Please do it for me, Swan. Damn it. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> okay. Yes. I was, I was too busy commentating. He did it and I missed it. I feel bad. But he's about to do it again. He is not anti airing at all. Show, show him some, some bison and experience, perhaps. No. Oh, yes. Too cold. Uh, uh, I am. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, don't drop it. God, that hurts. I'm just like Ultra. Oh, it does the meat squasher. Guess ride or die. Wow. Now, it would have been godlike if he did EX Backbreaker Ultra 2. Nice. It would have been godlike if he did EX Backbreaker Ultra 2 to catch him in the airborne frames. That would have been like fucking godlike. In a way in hell would happen, but it would have been godlike. Uh, 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 uh. Toss it. You get that? Oh. oh, wow, yo, no crumple. Oh. Ow, that was the original boss. No, it wasn't. He was supposed to do it. That was Street Fighter 2, damn it. Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 1 doesn't count. Tiger. Tiger. I'm Tiger. Oh my god. See, it's gonna, it's gonna be the commentary featuring Corn Alcar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Wipe your feet off, baby. Oh, wow. Gets thrown out of it. Oh, oh. That was filthy. That was filthy. Yes. <laughs> Come on, doing a request. Thank you. I saw that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, despite pieces of shit like uh, uh, Fubat. Yeah. You know, most as, as you can see here, he is really he just he just wants to play, man. He just wants to play, have a good time. You know, he's really one of the nicest guys that you will ever meet. Most people really like Antoine, and most people really like watching him play. Yeah. Every time I put up a video, if I like, if I don't put up like the individual matches, like mm -hmm. people start messaging me, we need timestamps. We need to. Yep. I only want to watch Antoine. You know. Yep. People really want to watch Alucard. You know, he. he He's ever the crowd pleaser, you know, and, I, and he he's got the ability and the, just the raw talent to back it up. That was my God! That was ridiculous. That that said from downtown Detroit to Ann Harbor. <laughs> Oh my god. Whiff punch a low strong scissors into super. The maximum damage. The maximum of damage. Keep it on Instagram. SoundCloud. All right. So meanwhile, Twan just putting on a clinic right now, going with all of the links. Oh my God, that was it. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm having just too much fun, just, just sitting here, just, just, just listening to this, dude. Uh, uh. Oh, that's a punish. Yep. Yeah, I was, I was heavy. 
Oh, what do I do? Yeah. oh, messes it up and he negative edges it. Not again, just getting greedy for the SPDs. No, you can't you not punish it. You can't punish. Oh, okay. oh! Yo, the footsies are just too real. <laughs> Part of the reason why I love watching Alucard's Bison so much. The foot, the footsies and the whip punishing are just ridiculous, and he has all the tools with his character to do it. So Alucard putting on a clinic with an 11 game win streak right now. Oh my God, you have got to anti-air him. Yep. Nice. Huh? And yeah, we don't even have Marta on here this week. He usually brings another setup too. Oh yeah, Marta's not here. Wow. Yeah. So Alucard caught in the corner. Definitely not where Bison wants to be, but gets out. Wow. That is amazing. Ooh. Okay, sexy. here we go. Yep. Blows up the SPD with the Invincible EX Scissors. Trying to catch him pushing buttons. Yep. White Boy Hugo throws, throws out SPD and catches him. And if you're just if you're just joining the broadcast right now, it's not a, it's not Alucard actually playing Hugo. Yeah, is that is actually oh my god. No way. <laughs> yeah, so Bison being one of the characters that Alucard does play. Now he plays So I got Bison Balrog Hugo. He claims he as he says he plays all of Shadowloo except for Vega because and I quote, fuck that nigga. That's what he says. He, is, he is, does, does not like playing that character at all. So instead, he replaced him with Evil Ryu. <laughs> Here we go. Gets the throw. Catches the back bash. Tries to get White Boy Hugo wake up with SPD, but he didn't bite. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Yep, let me out the corner. Nope, too high. Too high. Too high. The floatiest. The floatiest of jumps. Look at True that. True that. True that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Now see, he can actually option select that. He can do meaty clap and option select Lariat, and that'll chase him down. Catch him. Or meat squasher, actually, if he wants to just get the corner positioning. But definitely showing some, some matchup in familiarity right now. He's letting Chuan get away with a lot of jump ins. He's, he's tried to SPD light kick scissors on block a lot. And. Oh my god. The overhead. Oh, oh back dash. Yeah, caught it. Oh my god. If you don't dash SPD this man as he sits there. He, he, he's just letting him jump all over. Oh my god. I wish I could jump on Alucard to go this much. Like, I'm, I mean, no disrespect, but I mean, for the love of all things holy, he, he is letting him just hold up forward. If there's not been a backbreaker, there's not been an ultra 2, there's not been a standing fierce with armor, there's not been a, at least a focus, even though that's a terrible fucking option, there's not been anything. Like, come on. You got to keep him. You got to keep him on the ground. Nice. Gets thrown for his trouble. Thrown again. And oh my god. The conditioning is so real right now. This is ridiculous. He threw him twice. Act like he's gonna go for it a third time. Then the EXO just to blow it up and get the counter hit. Oh, wipe the feet off. Wait for the smile. Yes. Look at the smile. Yes. All right, so we in there. Oh my goodness! So there you go, a, ni a nice little block of footage of the rarely seen Bison from Corn's Alucard. Proficient with multiple characters. <laughs> multiple, multiple characters. So, we have the Hugo, we got the Balrog, we got the Bison, we got the Evil Ryu. 
Sagat. I forgot about Sagat. Got him. He, he plays plays a lot of characters. He can actually play Ryu really well too, contrary to what a lot of people think. But to me, the the favorite thing that I saw was when he used to play Hakan. That was amazing to watch. I heard about that. I never got to see it though. That was very short lived, but it was it, it was very very interesting to watch because he he actually was practicing the you know the the, the focus parries and was getting it down. Then he actually played uh, a little bit of Goken in Vanilla before before it was cool. He played him. So oh my God, we have the big bodies. We have the biggest of bodies right now. Um, the other guy though, he's. He, he does, doesn't play on stick, I don't think. He thinks that he plays on pad. Yeah. So he's going to be kind of... He's used to being able to use mine, but uh, Mike's got mine right now. So... Oh, he's turning, like... So, white boy, with Hugo putting on a clinic here. Yep. And this is a that's a, a great thing about coming out to Mint Master Mondays, Bar well, even weekly. You can be that new player and come out and get a chance to play against you know some of the best in the state. Oh my God! Let me get me get the clap combos. All right, no one else has come over, so I'm gonna go ahead and Ooh, get scooped. Do the bracket. Yep. You see. And it's hard to get out of Zangy pressure. He is just applying the pressure to him. It is very hard to get out of Zangy pressure. No! He's not afraid to clap, ladies and gentlemen. Puts his size 35 boot in the ass. Oh my god. I think he did, when he went to do SVD, he did like a 1080 instead of a 360. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, it was, it was the wind up. It was the wind up. And that's how it was. When you see it, Alex, you'll know. Yes. Shut up! Alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, James Chad. Okay, James Chad. Yeah, no, no. Seriously? <laughs> so, for those who don't know, if you're watching this, this is what it means to be trolled. White Boy Hugo is clearly trolling the shit out of this geek player. So. Yeah. Stop sign. Yeah, four fierce. Yeah. He said, "Cut! Oh, ooh, let me get all of the oil. It's stacks. It's stacks. Yep. Wow. Yoink. Come here. Stop sign. Forward fierce. Forward fierce. Yep." So, yep, he stacked like four heavy oils. What? Jason. Why did I look? I, no one can. I should have known it was going to be something revolving him being an asshole. I should have learned by now knowing Kevin for seven years. <laughs> Welcome to Bit Measure Mondays, ladies and gentlemen. We are one big, happy, dysfunctional, fucked up family here. <laughs> Oh my god. So it looks like we pretty much have looks like one Street Fighter, one Marvel. I'm not sure what else we have. There might be a Uniel set up back there. I don't know. I'm not sure. So White Boy Hugo is just kind of trolling right now. Oh my god, catches the jump. Stop. That's game. Meanwhile, everybody else is just kind of waiting for their turn. So. 
Yeah. So White Boy Hugo, give, give, him, give him a little bit of advice because he, he is clear to say he doesn't really know how to play on stick. So kind of help him out. Spinning to win. Okay, gets the jump in low forward. Doesn't get anything else off of it. So I believe we, we pretty much uh, closed off the brackets. I'm seeing. No. That is, that is, that is a godlike name. I lost to my mixtape. That, that, that is amazing. Ooh, okay. Let's see who we got. That guy, L got X. Oh, I got a buy, so I get the winner. Wow. He's going to have them just play right here, right now, once you start it up. Okay. All right. Warriors, what we got? 16? 14? 15? Damn it. I'm ass. I'm ass. I hit. I literally hit all around my target. Oh my god. Oh my god. So looks like there's cake and ice cream back there, and cupcakes and all sorts of goodies for Boochie Man Black's birthday. Shout out! Shout outs to Pro Hose at Boochie. Just enter, man. Just enter. Just enter. Alright. Ooh, get out of there. Bop. Alright, back up, 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 not jump you. No, what are you doing? Good to see you, brother. Wait a minute. What I'm not. Did you enter? You enter? You did? Go for it, man. So I'm encouraging everybody to miss. Two bucks. Two bucks. I'll tell everybody. Oh, okay. It's good to, good to see you out, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. When I'm not playing, this is my job now. I commentate. That's what I do. So I'm in there. So they... this. So what? Yeah, this is mine. This is my baby. So... The, fun, the, the funny thing is, they aren't they aren't aware yet. But when they're done playing casuals, they play in tournament. <laughs> Shout outs to, to the Mr. Wall Raven for the brackets. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna make these guys play. <laughs> All right. So, in case you're not aware, there's cake and ice cream in the back for Bucci's birthday. So go. As far as I know, it's, it's up for grabs. Go get yourself some. I let people know. Make sure there's no leftovers. This is the MFGC. We hungry. Wow, he died. So, when do you want them to play? Or are you still doing the brackets? Okay. Oh, you gonna make? Yeah, you gonna make me play TJ? That's funny. I beat his ass. Actually, they all right so for those who, who may have like been kind of hearing the chatter basically we were kind of alternating some stuff in the bracket because it turns out that a few people who are, are pretty much boys and play together or who, who travel here they would have had to play each other the first round which let's face it you don't want to go to a tournament and play the guy you just rode in the car with for a half hour you know first round so you had to had to switch some things around real quick but oh my god oh lord adonis is over there this is about to be a this is about to be a great ass night this night is about to be great he's like you talking about oh my god 
Hulk is over there doing things and touching people in bad places. That's a punish. Yep. Oh boy. Porn is found in the females. I thought they found bitches outside or something. It's about to go nuts. Dude, you know how they be. Alright, well. I'm going to say a flower That shit look out like that. That shit look good. Alright. So, everybody everybody getting hyped about Jurassic World. You know, shout outs to my man with the Attack on Titan jacket as well. That is godlike. Thanks, sir. Alright. That's your first match. You, you say you playing pad, right? Yeah, I'm playing pad. Is that good? You're going to fight him for your first match, but you want to use the pad. Let you go. I'll let you Let them get a couple in, but yeah, you guys are going to play. All right, so this is this is still casuals, right? All right. So. Oh, my God. I'm devouring the mic. My bad. All right. So I'm not sure... His name escapes me. Who's the guy sitting down play White Boy Hugo in those casuals? What's his name? I forget. I should know that. I'm asked. All right, so we got Jeremiah on player two. I believe he is a Viper player, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I, I, just, I remember playing his Viper before with my Oni, but we shall see. So got got some last minute entrance in for Ultra. Ah, uh, yes, also plays Jerry. Okay. So he's, he's, a, he's a pretty solid Jerry. I have a sneaky suspicion White Boy Hugo, despite being casual, is going to get blown up. Because I don't believe he plays Elena at all. Whew. So. Alright. So. I think they're probably going to get in a couple before White Boy Hugo has to play my my mixtape. Ah, I see what he did. I see what he did. That's a good pun. I'm ass. I'm so slow. Alright, so... Oh my god, and just opens it up with a raw slide. Trying to go under the fireball, trying to get predictive and psychic. He jumps in. There we go. Okay, gonna be able to apply the pressure. He gets clipped. This is the anti-air. Elena with the very floaty jump. Kind of difficult to anti-air properly if you've never really fought her. Gets a sweep again. Catches him not blocking his feet. And the raw mallet smash. But drops the one frame. Those are not easy to do. And because they are a jab, that is unplinkable, ladies and gentlemen. And... Yeah! We in there. The man that was playing Geef on here just now. That that is a ridiculous name. I love it. I love that. Who'd you lose to? My mixtape. It was too hot for you. <laughs> so what? Yeah, I didn't hear you. <laughs> White beast. Oh my god. I was I swear, when I start streaming, now, when I start streaming, I'm, I'm gonna have y'all come back once I start streaming. You gonna have to fans. Lose. Yes, that'd be amazing. Thank you. 
and the commentator being taken care of coming over says, would you like some cake and ice cream? And I'm like, yes, emphatically. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so I think this is probably gonna be the last one. Then they're gonna wrap it up. I think I'm not sure where. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start. Um, I don't know where my mixtape ran off to. Oh, he was, right, he was right there. Okay, there he is. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna run the two tournaments, but we only got a setup for a each set of them. Setup for each. So, I mean, the Marvel tournament's not that big, is it? No, it's only four people. Shit, that's pretty much a round robin. Win one match in grand finals. <laughs> So. But of course, so you got you got Cobal here who's not entering, and you have a few other people that are entering. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cobal, he, he's he's only able to stay for a little bit. I would actually like him to kind of win the tournament right, if he enters. So, so wait while you stay. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. All right, so here we go, getting things underway and started. But don't go far, Jeremiah, because your match is going to be up next. Wall Raven Weekly number sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Really? Wow, we've been doing it this long. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so Wall Raven Weekly number 68. The first match you're going to have here is going to be White Boy Hugo on player one side playing, you guessed it, probably Hugo. Shocker and spoiler alert for those who have never seen it before. Versus my mixtape. Now, my mixtape, a new player came out. The Zangief that you saw earlier said he doesn't really play on stick, doesn't know how to. Only plays on pad. I'm going to assume he probably goes to Zangie, but White Boy, I'm going to just call him James. I'm sorry. I'm not saying White Boy Hugo every time. I'm calling him James. Screw it. So when he played him earlier, probably picked him on some data that he likes to mash a lot. Like, like, likes to spin to win, churn the butter, stroke the smurf. There's a lot, there's a lot of terms for it. <laughs> I think I still play that way. I really do. I mean, we all have the times where we we've kind of mashed one out. Let's 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 be honest here. You know, I mean, everybody has the time. So here we go. I believe. Yep. Buttons are already set. And white boy Hugo misses the punish again. Just, and I I like the idea of what he's doing with the jabs because they're chain combos. So he can literally just do that and just push him out if he if he spies he's mashing. But I would like to see him just neutral. Oh my God! Do not jump. I like to see him just kind of neutral jump if he knows he's spinning. Just give the neutral jump punish. Go into Lariat knockdown maybe. Oh my god. Oh nice. Chasing him down the back dash with a green hand. Yep, and he is I think I saw about twelve SPD inputs right there <laughs> in the last two seconds. So but I mean he entered, so this will be good experience, maybe, you know, he'll 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 learn from this. Well, that's the great so. thing about what coming out here is, you know, oh my god, that looks delicious. God. Shout, shout, shout out to the commentators being taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Lord. Thank you so much. This is what happens when you know you're VIP and you're commentating, you run everything. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. I, Zvine, Grind. Yeah. Oh, he gets the P. You do a clap combo, I'm going to count all four claps in German. I, sw I swear to God, I will. So as soon as, you, as soon as you start clapping, you better start listening. Game one. All right, he's going to the mixtapes going to the character select. I think he's going to play as a Ken or one of the Shotos. I'm not sure which one. It's been a few weeks since he's been out. Okay. Oh, he also, he's been here before. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said I wasn't aware of that. Might have been one of those weeks where I wasn't here, actually. Which, you know, you guys are all pretty good out here. And you got to imagine what the, like, the most terrifying things. You play online and you win a lot of matches and then you come out here. And you realize you're no good. And you get blown up. Yeah, that's what happened my first tournament. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, I won, I think, like three or four matches. I won like four and two. But I remember thinking I was hot stuff. And I came out. I, I, the losses where I lost, it was bad. It was bad. I got blown up. So going with Ryu, I actually like to pick a little bit more than Zanky. I'm doing that. I'm not sure. Maybe just kind of whipping a bit, a little bit of meter. Oh, oh nice. So white boy Hugo. Oh, oh I like Ca that. Yeah, catches the whiff. Nah, uh, you can't punch that. Yep. Let's see, right there, you, you, you do see the 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 the, uh, the Xbox Live tendency right there. Yep, you really can. Yeah, going with things that maybe doesn't get punished for on Xbox Live. Zip. Which which is effective for a round or two because like the other the other player's not expecting it. Yeah, exactly. As you can see, you know, White Boy Hugo's definitely been caught off guard on, on a few instances and he could have altered that. But you can see he's just kind of taking his time now, being patient, knows that he really doesn't have to overextend. 
There you oh. go. That's good. That's good. Yep. Ouch. And and th- th- this is exactly like what I've tried to teach my Dougie, right? So this is what I call the art, with all due respect, bum bash. So White Boy Hugo doesn't have to do anything. Yep. He literally has to do nothing. And and mi- mixtape will will end up hanging himself as we're seeing here. So White Boy Hugo sitting on match point, looking very comfortable. My first tournament out here, mm-hmm. uh, it was it was when uh, the Ram Mats were being held at the um, that Land Center over at the mall. Mm-hmm. And my first match was in Marvel against Michael Washington. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know Zach. You're talking about Big Mike. Yep. I'm sorry. And he was playing. He was playing this Hulk. And it was like I said, "Wow, you, your Hulk's no joke." He looked at me like, "Why are you talking to me?" Yeah. And then said, "Best in the state." <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like, huh? Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Let me get the uh. Yep. And so White Boy Hugo takes that to zero. I believe. All right. So we're gonna have Jeremiah versus All God X. So. Hey, uh, JC, say, uh, the so, Jeremiah, a Viper and Jury player, I believe, the one that we saw here earlier. El God X plays a lot of characters. We've seen him play effectively darn near half of the cast. Um, seen him play Ken. I think you can just go over there and get some. She came over and asked me if I wanted any because because we were over here commentating. That's why. So I mean, go go over and check um, the girl over there by the table. Yeah. I wonder who we're gonna see. Is it what? Yeah, yeah, you did. It was bad. He was mashing Tatsu out everything. Okay. But every, everyone starts out at that at one point. Exactly. And yeah, it's, we, we, well, we've all been there. And it's nice that he's at this stage of development and it's mm-hmm. coming out to play. I like that he. I like that this is not the first time he's come out though. That shows he wants to come out and play. Because if it had been the first time, you know, I, I think you kind of need to go a little bit easier on them. You know, kind of like break them in. Cause, oh you know, yeah, like that one dude who called up here to the bowling alley. He's like, I'm the, you know, I'm the, I'm best. the best in the state. Came out here, you guys passed him around like a drunk. We, we, we was, Antoine literally toyed with him. He literally told them at first to see like where he, he'd like them to, to measure where he was at, and then just took his money free. So, but getting into this match, we're gonna have Al Gadax going with Jerry, definitely one of his mainstay characters, which I like this pick. Oh, wait, no, wait, am I missing something? Yeah. Wait a minute, is Al Gadax playing a Buki? Yeah, Al Gadax playing a Buki. Oh my. Okay, wait a minute. So the sides are switched then. El God's a Buki, yeah, they're switched. I'm seeing Buki do combos and he wasn't hitting anything. Like, is he, is he pr- Professor Xavier? Just kind of. <laughs> so, okay, so El God playing a Buki then. Now, I would like to see him try to keep the light kick fireball stored. Just so he can. Oh, nice punish, I like that. Yep. So, we'll see if Jeremiah picks up on El God's tendencies. He is not afraid to do a reverse on wake up. Let it rip, which I respect. If it hit, there, excuse me, there's no reason to stop doing it. If it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, Damn, I didn't even hear you chew, and your ice cream and cake is gone. Oh, it's, it, I actually took my time because I was commentating, <laughs> but then in between matches, I'm over here like an anime character shuffling. He's like, hold the plate up like more. <laughs> it's a while, El got taken that convincingly, so. <laughs> plays anime games. He wants to play a one-player game. He definitely found his character. It's either her or Seth, and I like her more than Seth. So, yeah. So, anyway, so let's see maybe Jeremiah can figure out where things went wrong. Nice anti-air. Has the fireball sword. He's going to hold on to it. And Elgar drops the combo. Doesn't get the knockdown. Okay, gets the grab. 
condition condition him to grab so he can start mixing in some frame traps. Nice. I like that good reaction to the focus. Knew that it was multiple hits so it would break. Very smart play. Okay, oh god, gets a knockdown. Guess right or die. Goes for the grab again. And the low strong takes it. So we'll see if uh Jeremiah's gonna have to dig deep. Oh, El Guy's sitting on match point right now. <clears throat> so, you know, El Guy is another one of these people like Twan and like you. They can play a lot of characters. Yeah, then like I said, I thought he was playing Jerry at first because of the size, but it turns out he's playing Ibuki. And he's actually looking kind of solid with her. Okay, blocks the overhead, gets the grab, but I don't like him throwing her out of the corner though. He could, he, that could have changed everything. His skill level is probably where you you guys were at probably maybe what, two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, I, I I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. Oh my God! Doesn't block. Could have got something no, huge off of it. Okay. Doesn't block the overhead. Drops the combo again. Oh my goodness. Nice. I like that. So Jeremiah staying alive. Maybe maybe found some answers to some of the things that El Guy was getting away with. El Guy going for a lot, going for a lot of grabs to see if maybe he can uh, expose him for that. Nice punish on that. Good awareness. Knows that's not a true block stream. Focus through and got the punish. Could have got a little bit more off that when he did it, but still keeps it oh. simple. Nice. Here we go. Nice reset. I like that. Try to see if he could bait him mashing, but El Guy didn't bite. Has a knockdown just sitting in front, going for a lot of grabs. Which one he's looking? He's looking ahead, trying to get the. To get okay. The so he's not really sure how to punish that. You can actually uh, hold the focus and break the kunai, or especially because it's Jerry. That yep, he delayed. Get up. That would have been an unblockable. Nice, nice. So nice and gets the throw. So Jeremiah staying alive. Wakes up. Says I'm not trying to go to losers first round. So, so and, and, and as we saw there, um, a lot of people don't really know how to deal with that. When they block the Buki's Dragon Punch, she can do Kunai. And if she does, obviously she throws two Kunais and does another EX, is two hits and breaks focus. But if she only throws one, you can just literally hold focus and just level two crumple her on the way down. Or, in, especially in Jury's case, she has such a fast dash, you could just dash under after blocking. And just get a free punish, but maybe some matchup and familiarity from Jeremiah. But in the meantime, applying the pressure, maybe kind of figure some things out. But she's got a pretty a bad jury. Nice punish, yeah. He's solid. I know he. I, I know for a while. I don't know if it was his main, but I know he had a viper. Maybe that's a, like a sub for him. But El God got the knockdown, throws the kunai, and I believe that was same side. He just didn't block it. Does it? Yeah. Uh, it does, yeah, that was the. Uh... Yeah. So Jeremiah puts his head down. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, yeah. Jerry has a few options to get to get out of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he's good. He's good. So. I mean, I'm thinking Jerry's just not as strong as she used to be since the patch. I, actually, I, I actually, she got she got better. She got buffed. She, she's gotten better. I think the one buff that I would like to see more people use is the fact that far stand strong is cancelable now. I think that's uh, a very oh my. No, no, that's a great. No, that's great. But I mean, when they did that, when they did that, when they did that update, not the, not the not the whole thing, mm -hmm. but when they did that update that switched around how she builds meter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that did hurt. That did hurt. And so Jeremiah with a nice lively, good defense right now, just keeping out got pinned. Knows oh, he doesn't nice. have to overextend. Oh my god, oh, drops the combo. That, you, he he could have died for that. That is a bookie. Wow. Mm -hmm. So match point for both players. Yeah. Now, Elgar going in with a lot of meter. We'll see if maybe he can do something. Oh my god, that oh, nice. hurts so much. Applies the meaty pressure. Let me see. We're going we gonna to see DP. Yep. Yeah. He got the light hits, but didn't convert into a combo. Nice, nice, I like that. Jerry does not have to deal with that kunai at all on wake up. She can just do that. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, that could have been it. Nice. Xavier's nice. got to watch it. Yeah, the, the L guy needs to dig deep. Has to approach really carefully. Oh my god. 
Well, luckily that doesn't do too much chip damage. Yeah. But it builds a lot of meter when it hits. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to make him block a little forward and go on the pinwheel. Anything will do it now. He tried dive kick there and catches it with the stand medium kick. So after being down three a game and a round, Jeremiah brings it all the way back to send El God X to losers, which is honestly rather surprising to see El God X and losers this early. It's kind of surprising. Yeah. All right. So up next on stream. Yep. So I'm gonna be that guy. Free black Joker. Free black Joker. All right. Joker, I have nothing but respect for you, but I'm about to be biased as shit because this is one of my players. All right, so on player one side, we're about to have free black Joker. On player two side, we're going to have PGFX's very own Chicote. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, did you want the crimson? You want the crimson? But which one? Crimson? The crimson? Come here. Come here, TJ. Come here, boo. We don't bite much. Maybe a nibble if you're in that type of shit. All right. So we're gonna have Chicote on player two. Free, 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 black Joker. What? You want to just give him the mic? that's by the players. Here's that one. All right, what's up, everybody? Here's a here's a headset for you, so you can hear yourself. All right. Hey, tell me how I sound, man. I sound good. What's up? All right. It's KG. He's sitting here chilling on the stream, about to watch Jacote. Otherwise known as Free Boy. <laughs> He's about to get dogged by his boys. We just got invaded. He known for dropping combos and choking under pressure. We gonna have to watch this shit. This is some real. Right? Can I get out? Oh my lord. Man, we we hard on him, but that's what that's what we do here. We hard on him because it's gonna help produce results. It's gonna help make him stronger. Once he's done setting up his godforsaken pad, because he's got to use converters, I'm I'm gonna brass the shit out of him since that's my player. Oh, we got a th a third headset. I got, I got another headset. And we got another. All right, one. check one two one two. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna say real quick is let's try to not talk over each other, so it doesn't sound like a bunch of hens in the kitchen. All right. <laughs> so I was doing a button check, setting everything up, making sure that the buttons are indeed buttons and doing their prescribed functions. Right, it's, 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 it's okay, Chicote. You, you, you can you set the buttons. <laughs> Yo, black people. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get that jury tone again. Let me get the jury tone. Let me get the. Ooh, girl. Bring that ass here. What's good? You are not hitting on jury. <laughs> All I'm saying is if Victoria does that, it's a wrap. All right. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Lady V does that, it's a wrap. I'm about to lock the door. <laughs> All right, so going with Forte. Now, this is actually a terrible matchup for Geek. This is god awful. Yeah, it really is. Um, just really, really hard to pin Forte down. Doesn't have a lot of good options to chase him. But Forte can just pretty much do what he wants. Now, I don't like the choice of Ultra Two in this. Ultra One, I think, is better because if he whiffs a lariat. He can punish it if he jumps. I mean, you can still punish Ultra 2, but I think Ultra 1 just has a little bit better utility. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Well, I don't even know as much as you Oh, and going with the Pepidot color. The, okay, gets the knockdown. And less the Q-bomb rip. That's the Chicote special. That's how he does it. <laughs> yep, here we go. Tortilla. Is he going to get the reset? Nope, just whips it. Oh, whips the leg grab to build meter. I like it. Does the tortilla again, and this is exactly why this is hard for Geek because he doesn't have a lot of reliable options to get out of the mix-ups and the pressure that Forte has. As we can see, maybe a little bit matchup in familiarity on Joker's part, and says, "Fuck it, I'm gonna let it rip." Always holding. So, if this was porn, this is the point where the guy has taken his pants off and slapped his dick on the table. You know what? I don't because really... he, he he just did EXQ bomb against a grappler while he was in the corner, and he could have lost 500 plus for that. Oh my God, it's a headbutt. You better run. You better run for the love of all things holy. Oh, oh, and oh, get in the bed. 
Oh, he's okay. He's got setups. Joker has setups. Here we go. You know, this is the part where Zanga says it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> he just right, came this back is a good match for you. No, don't look at us. Focus yeah. on the game. <laughs> hey, he's not letting it be a rape, man. Oh, here we go. Yep, You'll here we go. Focus. Yeah, this, this is a, this is a good matchup for Forte. No, that does a brick and a half. Jesus. Hey, don't let Forte put the condom on, man. It's yep. just... Nah, it's on and it's in. He's they smoking. Don't they don't allow rape porn right now, man. You gotta, exactly. You gotta chill out. We're gonna get the YouTube channel shut down. When we upload the archives, and and I like what Chakote is doing there. He, he he's he's picked up that he's not. Well, I mean, Geef can't do a ton about tortilla, but he's picking up that Joker isn't really doing too much or trying to get out. So yeah. in this case, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which I think is something more people need to do. There's no need to change it up if it's working. So yeah, so we'll see. Maybe you just want to take a minute to think about things. Oh, character. Ooh, nice. Okay, so this is this is risky. I think Ultramon is a go-to ultra for this because if you yeah, he has no reason. Tan is if he neutral jumps, he dies. <laughs> hey, you got to put your mic close to your mouth, bro. All right. There we go. There you go. Now you can. For some of those guys. Yeah, yeah, you're quiet. You know, so if you know it's some kind of loud, <laughs> yeah. so I purposely keep them okay. because if I shout, I don't want to destroy our viewers' ears. Anyway, <laughs> so we got so we got Sam and Seth with the pants, and yep, that's a punch. So he maybe showing that he knows his matchup a little bit better with his character. Oh my God, this could be bad. Seth with very little life to give. Okay. Okay, guess starting up the sign of boom zoning. Nice dragon punch. Oh, went for the toe tassel, didn't get it. So this, so this is good adjustment. Maybe this character switch is what he needed. Yeah. Oh, okay. It seems to be more even match now. Yeah. He can actually do shit to defend himself. Oh, drops the ultra. Oh my god, that could be it. He can't. And Joker just shaking his head. That's twice that he's <laughs> dropped the combo and this cost him. That's that's gonna be round. So Chakotay near, narrowly getting away due to due to the drop combo. Yeah, yeah due to yeah, the yeah. drop combos. Yeah, that was twice that. That could have put him in a really good situation. You know, but all he has to really do is learn from. You know what I mean? You can't just keep fucking up like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. He 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 kind of shook his ear or nodded his head when he went back into this round. So okay, Chakotay gets the knockdown. Oh my God, the balls on this man. <laughs> that is Seth though. You 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 have to go all in. I was about to say the EXQ bomb is coming. Yep. Come on, baby. I'll turn that buttery do that DP. Nice. Gets to confirm. I don't think... I, I don't think he had the charge for the Q-bomb. Gets the punish. And one more is going to do it. D knows he doesn't have to overextend. Went, went to go for the air grab. Yep. And the people's elbow takes it. You know what? You can't even be mad. That was a good match. But you know what? The just do shit motto won this match. YOLO yeah. and just do it. Yep, it, it, yep because, because, uh, it, well, because in all reality. All right, I'm all right, so TJ Crimson going up. But yeah, I mean, in that sense, you know, he wasn't getting punished for it. And, you know, if you're not going to get, if you're not getting punished for it, even if you're doing something that's unsafe, go for it. If I do a cross-up slash with Oni, you can get a fat punish off of that. But if I'm not going to get punished, I'll keep going for it. Yeah. So in this case, we're going to have TJ Crimson versus Esteran's very old Mad King Crimson. Got anything to say to the fans, Chakotay? Okay. Who, mine? What's up, everybody? This is L. Chakotay coming in on the mic. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to... Hey, yeah, I swapped them. Yeah, they swapped them, so they're like the yin-yang boxes now. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to see Elena, probably, versus T-Hawk. Uh, Mad King was working on a pocket Elena, but has been spending quite a bit of time figuring some things out in the lab and has... Really? Kind of committed himself. He'll still go to Vega if he feels the need to. But he said explicitly when I uh, was talking to him earlier today that he was going to be running Atlanta all day. So I definitely like this character choice for him. Um, Vega's good, but just Elena, I think, has a, a, a little bit more options. And I think just fits Matt King's patient style a lot more. But if Hawk gets in, it's nightmares for her. Because baby girl is going to break. So, so we got uh, T Hawk in the building. Uh, T Hawk versus uh, Elena. So um, obviously, you know, T Hawk is the leader of the dunk squad. So you got to put the mic close to your face. You're, you're, very, you're very quiet. You're very so, quiet. so once he gets in there, man, 
It's gonna be nasty. But he has to get in there. It's the thing. She had that weird ass jump too, man. Yeah. Well, it's really floating, and her roundhouse when she does it kind of goes forward a little bit. So if you're not really used to anti iron or unfamiliar with the matchup, it kind of mess you up. So letting the intros play, I respect this. Something more people need to do. So Timothy Nathaniel Hawkins the third with the sheepskin pants on. <laughs> So Matt King, yeah, we got Elena with that sexy ass outfit, nice clothes. Yeah, the the very, the very very minimal, the minimalist approach. So I like the what Matt King is doing. He's just kind of gauging right now, just hanging back. Knows he doesn't really need to go in. It is a grappler after all, so one SPD could really change things. Just being really patient. Okay, just go. Yeah, just keeps it simple. Nice. I like that. You know, I wasn't even really paying attention. It's my homie Tyler up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just YOLO dives in. Mackie dropping the combo, but purposely up back so he wouldn't get SPD'd. Which I like that, so that was a bait that he set to see if maybe TJ would be turning, and he was. So that's a good data. Nice whip punish on that. Good challenge. Oh, come on, baby. That could have been so much more. <laughs> Under dive. Yep. He gets a little bit of life back, so he's going to take that now. Oh, my God. Nice. Just, just does it to get in because it's very, very hard to block on that reaction. Very difficult. And guess the, that is 250. Damn, oh bad. my god, that shit said 250. I'm proud of you, boy. That shit said big dick. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, so TJ <laughs> taking that. <laughs> oh my god, he has a full bar too, so this could be bad. You know what? I gotta say, you're pretty good at this commentating thing. You always find the shit to talk about, man. That's that's why they have me on the mic. Oh my that. god, you can get a punish. Oh, you could just slide. You can just slide that. Again, maybe some match of familiarity. Not really a lot of T Hawks here. Kacker is actually not here tonight. I'm sure, he'd be right, watching cool. his math intensity. Oh, he should have done that. Yep. Uh, 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 he dropped it. Did you, can you punch that? Like the, uh, no. Kick like no. No. He, yep. He's gonna get a heal. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have any. I'm looking the wrong meter. Duh. I'm bugging. All right, so I like that he. Oh, nice choice of anti air. Yep. Does it again. Trying to see if he can get TJ frustrated, just make him jump a little more. Catches him not blocking the ankles, and they get broken for his trouble. So both players on game point. Matt King with a little bit of meter. Opens up with raw EX overhead, though. I like that. Game, personally, at game point. Hey, TJ, I want to remind you, bro. You, you do have a block button. Mm -hmm. And so TJ is just, just kind of chilling on right now, taking a really patient approach. I think that's the best thing for a grappler, actually, to take yes. a patient approach. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you go out, you get punished like he is right now if you get too aggressive. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the Mac, Mac he definitely smells and has picked up on the habit that he's doing SPD a lot. Yeah. So when he's doing, I believe it's either close roundhouse or close spears where she hops, you can't uh, SPD that. So he so he can kind of just get away for it and it's safe on block, so he can't really punish. You need a DP. And Mac King closes it out pretty convincingly with, with that. I think he picked the wrong ultra for this matchup. What do you think? With T Hawk? Yeah. No, ultra, ultra 1. Well, or, I mean, uh, ultra two. Are you sure? They're a grappler. They shouldn't be jumping. Sure. I mean, just they, like they, they shouldn't be jumping. You're supposed to make them scared of SPD and your normals. Like if you have a strong enough again, you want to make them jump. And if you play a grappler right, you can do that. And especially somebody like Elena, you have all day to to do something like that. But I think right now it's just a match of familiarity. You know, Elena's not. He's not a very common character. And then on top of that, Macking is, is really good just playing patient and frustrating you and, and making you want to go in and being desperate to get that hit. And gets a perfect, but he scratch a wheel. We're going to see baby girl flip over and... Oh, oh, so. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, you ain't oh. all in the background. You see that? He's like, boy, get up. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Oh, and the DP trade. That's an amazing trade for TJ. Oh, my God, this couple. Oh, overhead. Oh, yep. Oh. Catches him not blocking the poodle schnoggin. Oh, there you go. Dives in. Yep. Goes to the roundhouse. It's a typical setup. Tries to see if he can catch him jumping away. And Mad King has been 100% on those EX overheads. Man, he needs to make him play his game, man. He has a life lead. He needs to stay back a little bit sometimes. I mean, not really. Yeah, that could have been huge. Yep. Okay, four goes a little bit of the damage. With a, a DP follow up instead of the heal, which I like. And now he doesn't really have to do much. TJ's gonna have to do something ballsy to get in and close it out with the overhead. Geek's overhead is so difficult to see in neutral. 
It's all good, TJ, yeah. man. We love you anyway, dog. Yeah, we still love him. We still love him. <laughs> he did all he just got your ass with though. It's all good. <laughs> Dance. Don't play Street Fighter. Who's he playing? Who's he playing? Play? Anyway, uh, I'll be back as soon as TJ or Chicote start playing again just to talk right. more shit in the background. <laughs> it's, always, it's always a good time. I always got to talk right. more shit. Y'all got to give me more time to talk shit next time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. All right, I think I remember from Yuma Khan, this dude played over one day. No. No? No. Uh, that guy on the left. Is gonna be playing Goken. Vance is gonna be playing probably Ryu San. He might be trolling, but he, he doesn't actually play Forte. Oh, okay. He doesn't even own a console. Damn. Yeah, he still beats people because he, he, he he's solid. Like you know, he, he all right. He know he know how to play. So. Yo, so uh, so Birdie and Cammy. You toss people, Birdie. <laughs> Go condemn. Yo, yo, let's just put up one back in there, man. That's all I'm saying. Screw that character. Yo, come on, I know you watch He's this, done. man. He's done. Put him back in there. Forte's done. Oni's done. It kind of bums me out that Oni's done, but I can I can see why. He's he's literally just a what if one shot character. Like he's cool, but there's no reason to really bring him back. Yo, I feel Forte like was known to be very hated, so there would be more hate than there would be love if they brought him back. To be honest, though, Blanca was like Blanca can't be then Forte. But Blanca is a classic character. There's actually a lot of people who like Blanca. They just don't like fighting against them. But like Forte is just I like oh, I don't like way. the character. I feel like it's the same way, bro. I mean, I know some people don't like the way he plays, but I know like some people like watching him fight. Yeah. 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 All right. So I went back out with this commentary for now. Be back. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Let's just get Jason back in here. Get your mic. Get your baby and your headphones. <laughs> Tangled in the cords here. Just set back up. All right. So we're going in. That guy on the left with Goken and SRM Vance. Oh wait, no, he's not SRM anymore. I don't think. I think it's just Vance. Isn't it? yeah, it's just Vance. Are, are you sure? I was because he, he, he was he's on my team. Then he was SRM, but he was the only person that Kelsey ever nabbed for me that stayed uh, JWE too. Oh, okay, so he might he might just be JWE. Oh my God, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Get out <laughs> so is it is that Bucci's sister? No, I don't. I, they look alike. I know. They look like they could be twins. They look like they could be twins, but I don't believe it is. No, I don't believe so. Maybe it's just because they're both they are both gorgeous people. That's why they look. Bucci is kind of fantastic. That's why he gets all the pro hoes. <laughs> so you, you you can hear them back there actually doing the uh, the corn German accent that is now becoming so famous on the Dak Cornbread channel from uh, the Grand Finals this past Rambat where Alucard fought Chat to Thunder, Hugo versus Dawson, and Adonis started going German. <laughs> and it, it, it was gold. It was gold. So, but... You that, were, were you at the Cornbats? No, I was, I was not. I didn't have a, a ride, and I'd already had made plans previously, hang out with some other friends, so... Definitely gonna try to be the next one though. But in the meantime, Vance fighting back. He's playing Ryu instead of Ken this time. Yeah, and that's gonna be game. He's gonna see DP. Oh uh, yeah, dashes up, does the X Tatsu. So Vance kind of getting his feet wet in Street Fighter a little bit. Primarily a Marvel player. We well, you know that I like. I like how he said it. I was like, he entered Marvel and he went and entered Street Fighter. He said. I was like, just, just enter Marvel. You don't need to do Street Fighter. He's like, hey, I'm never going to get better if I don't play. Exactly. And and I like that he has that mentality. You know, so I think he just needs to practice a little bit more. Well, you got DP that, baby. 
Okay, throws him into the corner, see what he gets off of it. Nice. Yeah, parries, yeah. Does, or does the counter. Get some damage off of it. Wow. Yep. Bop. Alrighty. And that guy looking really, really comfortable right now. Vance just kind of leans back in his chair. One round to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, burns the meter. Trying to push that guy to the corner, but... What tool? What tool is just Ryu having this matchup? That's that's good. Low forward. <laughs> you can kind of walk a little forward, and and on top of that, when, when when you're playing against somebody like that guy, you uh you gotta pick up on his habits. Like he loves the counter a lot, and he will wake up with buttons in some way, shape, or form every time. He does not like the block. So, yep. And there we go. So, let's see who we have next. All right, so we're gonna have SRM's Akuma ZX versus Corey. Corey, I believe, is a Balrog player. I believe Corey is a boxer, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I believe I. Oh, I got that guy. Okay. Yep. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun, baby. Say what? Oh, okay. All right. So we'll gonna see who Darius runs with. Normally runs with Oni, Akuma, or Gokin. I know he said he's been wanting to practice Gokin for a while now. He said he wants to really get him on, or, or not Gokin, um, Akuma. He said he really wants to get him on the level of his Akuma and his Oni. Or his Gokin and his Oni. I'm bugging. His, his name's Akuma ZX. His Miss Mexico. Yeah. Now, he, he played right. quite a bit of Akuma last week. No, oh, did he really? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember. Alright, so we're going to go with Akuma. Or uh, Oni. So, I actually don't think his matchup is all that bad. Oni does get some character specific stuff. I'm Balrog. Um, if you end the combo on Heavy Tatsu in the corner. Because shout out to Capcom and Balrog's weird ass hitbox, he falls funny, and you get the last hit of the Tatsu instead of the third, so you actually get some. Anybody ever pick up or see some random keys? Nah, I ain't seen nothing, bro. I haven't seen nothing. Hold on, answer though. We're looking for random keys. Did anyone see or pick up random keys? All right, so doing a button check again, checking to see if the buttons are indeed buttons and doing their prescribed functions. So, anyway, so just kind of checking. I don't think this is all that bad for Oni, as I said. I mean, Balrog has some options, can kind of fight him, but Oni can just control the ranges really well. <laughs> Darius making the screen shake. And while, <laughs> Pierce. and while they're uh, picking the characters for that, I want to talk about strength in numbers. Gaming Studio out of Lansing, they're working on a new shooter called, uh, uh, well, they can go in this area. I guess. Uh, called uh, Two Word. It's a kind of a RPG MMO, uh, pretty similar mm -hmm. to uh, uh, Team Fortress 2, if okay. you've ever played that. So, that's coming out soon. Uh, we're looking to do some streaming with those guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember you speaking about that. Shout outs to them. All right, so going in, I like the choice of Ultra 2. Very few matches where I pick Ultra 2 or Ultra 1 with Oni. So Darius opening up. Known to be very, very patient. Good whip punish on that. And Corey, want to get something started. Gets the jump in, but does a little too many jabs in the combo. And Darius, just a very, very patient player. Likes to be patient so he can just kind of feel out his opponent, see what they want to do, figure out if they're a little antsy or not. Knows he really doesn't have to do a whole lot in neutral right now. Oh, oh, try, nice. try to DP but doesn't get it. Okay. I would like to see him go for sweep instead of standing around house there, just to try to get the knockdown to apply some pressure. Gets the sweep right there though, and there's less loose with the ground pound. Turns one out and it works out for him. And this this could be game. This is the start of it. Oh. This is, oh my controls. god, do not test it. There's the buffering, I can see it. Yep, he's buffering. He's buffering an ultra two on those jump ins. And yep. 
All kind of flat footed. Yep. If you wake up right next to him, you cannot, you cannot get out of that. I like that. Nope. Just nope. needs to nice. fart at him. That was actually smart to do that jab there. I'm trying to see if he can bait Darius to do a twitch ultra too. Darius didn't bite. You know, I would I'd like to see him turn punch out. through one of these fire blitz. Right. That was it. That was it. Oh. Okay. Okay. And he clutches it out. Good patience. Good patience. And I like that he didn't really spend any meter because now he's going in with almost a full bar. And once he gets that, he gets access to the kidney punch, aka stand medium kick and super, which is a great whip punish tool. Right. I just said it as he got it. So that's going to be huge if he can clip it. Actually, a really successful strategy to go for that against Oni because his normals are a little bit on the slower side. And he's really fishing for it right now. He's gotten a few, a couple trades, and the one time he got it, he, I don't think he had the charge. There he is, gets the combo, though. Nice. Gets the overhead, drops it. Oh, come on. Yep. If he loses, Brian's going to be so upset that he's Oh! And should have done one more jab. Yep. Went went for it. Went for the Hail Mary. Oh, man. I don't like him spending that... Well, actually, not. At the end there, the overhead wasn't needed. The first one worked out for him, but he dropped it. So, still staying alive. Darius answering back. Ever so patient, man. I, lo I love that about his play. Just does not overextend at the start of the match. And... That's a DP rip and it works out for him. And Corey not anti Aaron. Nah. Just catching his, getting caught in the toes again though. Yep. Yeah. Can't backdash the heavy one though. No. Now Bowers got a good anti air though, doesn't he? Yeah. Cr crouching fierce and close stands or yeah, stand strong is really really good. Jump back fierce in a lot of situations is good too if they're jumping pretty close to you. And I think Darius has found the button. Yep. Four wow. fierce and that it was all true. He could not do anything about that. That was all box string. Shout out to my character. All right, so I don't think Corey did all that bad. The, no, he did really good. It, it was it was the second round where he went for the kidney blow and the, or the kidney punch and the super. He dropped it the first time because I don't think he had enough charge. And the other two times he hit it, it was a trade. Yeah. So and I think he kind of just cracked because he just started going for it a lot. Nice whiff punish. Okay. Nice. Yep, gonna build some meter. Oh, good. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, you got, no. you got to make that hurt. You gotta make the hurt every time. Start with close roundhouse. Okay, and wow, loses the gray life off of that too. That hurts. Yep. And Darius Dar tried to get a little, little psychic. Drops the combo though. Nice. I like the, I like the PR Balrog shimmy there. <laughs> that, that, that was nice. I like that. So Corey's gotten a lot more solid since I saw him play last. I like this. And got the full super. Knows he doesn't really need to spend it right now. Doesn't you know, need to overextend. He can actually, if you want to spend the bar, he can punish that with super. But oh, he keeps it. Oh, oh my god, I did it again. Oh, you stay on the players and us, didn't you? Oh my god. Well, we did our best for play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one oh, match much. a night, I always do that. I miss yep. around. Oh my God! He he left the camera on the commentators and the players in that match. <laughs> so and that was such a great round by Corey too. That was. So Corey is not aware that when he blocks that forward fierce, that is a super on block. Okay, gets the trade. Nice anti air. And I like what Darius is doing. He he's trying to see if he can win this round without spending bar because he wants to save it for the demon at the, at the end of next round, but. Spends it just to try to create some pressure. Oh, nice punish. And gets the ultra. So this isn't really... It's just a little extra damage, but he gets a really nice situation out of this. Nice. Went for it. Went for kidney blow again. Oh. Be a big boost to his confidence if he... Yep. Oh. But see, th this is still not bad, though, because he has super. He has super, so he can still he can still get the kidney blow. He's fishing for it really, really hard. Yeah. Well, I would have liked to see him like win this game without letting like, Darius have a round. Yeah. Because I would have put Darius in, uh, you know, in a mentally defensive position. Yeah. It's like, well, he just beat me too straight. Maybe he's figured me out. You know, and that and like you said, that would have been a really great confidence booster for Corey. But Darius, oh, ever bye. so familiar with this matchup. Yep. Bop, 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 bop. Wow. Well, again, any of you top tier players here in Michigan mm -hmm. that have been around for a while, you know, played against Antoine's Bell Rock, so you. Yeah. 
and that's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. So, Mark, this was done. you block board fears, you can super that on block. That, that shit is horrendously safe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad. This mine is pick the button. I don't know, but he won't want that. He won't want that. He won't want kidney ball. What we got? It's not in here, man. Ah, okay. Do you n with the, with the Belkin? Yeah. No. No, no reason. Oh, yeah, no, the only reason Super works is because it's fast startup and he he, he travels. That's why. But Palm Palm is nowhere near fast enough. It, 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 he has a distance that really close for you to punish it with something like that. But like, it, it, even if he pokes like a tip like that, he, he can super. So yeah. <laughs> so I was like, shit. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna kind of do this real quick. Good. Wait, wait, we can like turn sensitivity on this up. Oh. Alright, that's it. There we go. Alright, so something new that we're trying this week that we've only really done, like you said, a, a handful of times is we got extra mic. We just kind of got chilling at the edge of the table here. It started off as just for the players, but now it's become this. This is the Alucard bike because. <laughs> well, it's, it's, not, it's not. It's not even that. No, this is like extra, so like we can hear what the players say. But it's, it's, it's his reactions when he says something is always hilarious. So, especially now because he's playing Bison, so you, you're gonna hear some stuff. White beast. Okay, not white beast. spotting a pack of gum. <laughs> Let me get some roundhouse, baby. Let me get some das boot. Oh, oh, man. Look, at <laughs> Look at that. See, there we go. That's why we have the mic. Look at that. So, so here we go. Um, I'm not really sure how this matchup goes, honestly. Um, it's 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 really in Bison's favor. Yeah, because I was about to say Jerry with really poor defensive options, honestly. Doesn't really have a good answer to this pressure. I mean, she's got counter, but well, if she's she totally, whips it, she's totally got to keep him out. It's uh, it's all because by every by button Bison has is better than every button she has. Is up yep. close. And I love that cycle crusher that he did there, just to to switch positioning and keep him closer to the corner. She's got some tools, but they like, um, like the uh, the the fierce the fierce uh, jumping fierce uh, hard punch can stuff the uh, um. Second question. So, kind of a couple other ones, but they're so timing specific mm -hmm. and also positioning specific. Yeah. And Twan with the focus dash. Yep. And actually, he could have, I think he might have been able to forward dash out of that. But I don't really know if he would have got much. No, it wouldn't have. Ultra 2 would not have caught that. Wake up Ultra 2 would not have caught that. I can say that right now. I, I used to play Jerry. That shit would not have caught that. <laughs> <laughs> Even with a buff, that should not have caught that. Oh my god, and just lets it rip, and it works out. Nice dash under. Okay. I would, I would like to see him try to keep the, the light fireball charge just a little bit more. So he can have that low forward uh, into fireball option. Nice. Or stand strong. And, that, and that's the too. bummer about playing Jerry, because you need that tool, yeah. but then you can't throw, and you yeah. can't tech throws. Exactly. So another option he could do, actually, is... Oh my god, you can get so much more of that. That's low forward heavy pinwheel every time. That's all true. Yep. So that's game. But what I would also like to see him do is keep a... <laughs> is to keep medium fireball stored, and then he could also poke with stand strong, buffered into medium fireball with that new buff. And then he can also... If he does it right, can have access to grab. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. He, he loves his character so much. That's, that's why I love watching him play Bison and Hugo more than anything. Those are two characters that he just loves to play. And wow. gets the crispy one frame a link. Let me get that. That shouts to Ultra Bus. Let me get the bop, 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 bop. Nope. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. <laughs> That is glad we that there. And you can just see how passionate he is about this. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, that. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. 
Oh, you got to anti-air that, baby. Cross fierce that all day. Now it's cross up. Nice. Yep. Catches him getting hungry. Juan said it earlier today. Who's going to beat my bison? Or who can beat my bison? Well, Very he, he posted like a... Like Four or five days ago, he was gonna do bite. So it gave everyone a fair chance. Yep, he even told everybody, he's like, get your guiles ready. It's like, get your guiles ready. And, and and I can tell you right now, including myself, nobody will do it. Nobody will do it. Because unless you're a guile specialist, I guarantee you, you will not beat his bison. Oh, Usually it works. I'm busy. I know. I was sad, Juan. I know. Let's get you and that guy. Yay! I'm gonna get body. I'm gonna get body. I was watching Gates combo break. You. Dark Souls rules I like. You. Hey, all right, so it's going to be just me uh, commentary for a moment here. We got owner of PGFX Q. Well, against um, JWE, that guy. Q, the owner of Paragon Graphics. Makers of YouTube art, stream art, stick art, anything that you need photo manipulation for. Get hold of Q, it'll take care of you. We got our. I would just like to make a disclaimer. I haven't touched this shit since Combo Breaker because I've been playing Dark Souls 2. <laughs> it's true. Check the Facebook. The Facebook tells no lies. We got our friends at uh, Sin Studios, Strength in Numbers. They're out of Lansing. They got an upcoming game named Tuber coming out. Uh, if you're a fan of Team Fortress 2, you're going to be a big fan of this game. We have our friend um, Jay McCollin, the author and artist of Shattered Mirror. Upcoming Magna. Keep your eyes and ears glued to the Wall Raven Weekly. If you need setups for an upcoming tournament, uh, Dead State Pavilion, look, find Cora Louise Can too on Facebook. She'll take care of you. If you got a good or service you'd like advertised here in the Wall Raven Weekly, uh, get a hold of me. You can we we take cash, we take uh, trade, take anything. You want? Okay. What are you looking at me for, bro? <laughs> and we're joined here by SRM's White Beast. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. I yeah. picked this color because Mackie loves this color. It's right there. Chris! Chris! I picked this color for you. I know you How benevolent. This is not some shit. Work. Just me. We're about to see something ugly, folks. Very fat and ugly. And Alex, let you know that. Oh God! Oh, is that Mr. N? Yep. <laughs> Alex, let you know he does not appreciate chubs. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to hang my head in shame uh, <laughs> for Jason for the entire rest of this match. I hope you didn't want commentary. <laughs> That's fine. Because uh, I actually know uh, absolutely nothing about this matchup, so I don't know if I can actually give naval commentary. Uh, that Sam Roundhouse uh, seems to be doing good things for that guy. So. You know, it is amazing that he plays this as well as he does, and he doesn't even own the game. Yeah, it's true. Oh. That move actually is pretty hard to punish. For an ultra, it's, it's only minus 15. Um, and it's actually kind of funny. His super is only minus 6, and it kind of leads him far away. Um, I've seen people uh, actually lose games by, uh, well, specifically by Mike Ross doing um, 
super, having it blocked, and then doing ultra right after it. Oh, really? Like a, a frame trap, quote unquote. Yeah. That'd be pretty funny. Oh my god. Don't hit boxes! No, no hit boxes! Kelsey. I had Archangels here. <laughs> that's something I'm gonna. I, and I know a lot of people are hating on focus attacks, but that's something I'm gonna miss in five when it comes out. Is focus, focus attacks put a game of chicken in the game. You're like, you know, there's a lot of times they eat you or focus attacking. And who's gonna let it go first? Mm -hmm. A little mini game of chicken. I'm really gonna miss that. All right. Dude, the thing about focus attacks, um, I think the risk reward for them is uh, really skewed. Like, I don't think you should get a crumple for it. Yeah, like that. Uh, what? I don't know what just happened. Um, but I like, uh, I like the fact that it actually gives, um, it gives the player something else to think about in footsies. Because uh, like, if you go back. Uh, especially like uh, CBS2 and stuff like that. Uh huh. Um, it was usually like walk around, hit your best button a lot. And you can't just do that here. Because uh -huh. if you hit your best button, you might get crumpled and eat an ultra for it. So <laughs> it gives you something else.